Cake Edit presents PK Hextrix. Hello there, boys and girls, and welcome back today for another cake tutorial guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do easy Pokemon cloning, and I'm going to include a little trick on ensuring that these clones are legal. Okay, so you'll have to have PK Hex downloaded. Uh, there's a link in the description to download it. Once you're in PK Hex, you're going to need to open your save file. So I'm not going to explain that in this video, but I will have a guide video on different ver ver the various different methods for taking your save on and off of your game cartridge. Um, the two file formats you're most likely going to be dealing with is either the file format RAM save. Uh, the other format you'll probably be dealing with is this uh, uh, these save files that are called main which come out of uh, Save Manager. And you can just drag the, f uh, the files right into PKHex and it opens them. But for now, let's just get on with the cloning. So let's just say I have this Pokemon and I want to clone it. It's really easy in PKHex. All you do is you right click on the Pokemon, select View, right? And that brings up all the Pokemon's details over here on the left. In order to clone it, right click on a different slot and select Set. And it's going to set all the data directly to that slot. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with cloning Pokemon this way. Because now, these are actually identical in every single way that a Pokemon could be. And that's normally not a problem when you're just talking about moves and abilities. But it actually is a little bit of a problem because uh, there's some parts of the Pokemon data. Something called a PID and something called an encryption constant. And the game randomizes those so the chances of you getting a Pokemon two Pokemon that are identical with identical values is virtually zero so it would be obvious to anyone who inspected these that that you had cloned them so if you want this to just look like a naturally caught Pokemon even though it's a clone on the main tab right here where it says reroll click the reroll and that's gonna generate a new uh, unique PID for this Pokemon and then on the OT tab go down here to where it says encryption constant and click reroll on that and generate a new random one and then after you've done those two things then right click into a slot and click set so now we have two far-fetched for all intensive purposes they're exact clones but it's just a way more valid and legal way to clone Pokemon. If you use like the uh, load and dump feature on PK Hex to load batches of uh, Pokemon or import batches, if you didn't do the reroll on those on the PID, it's going to treat every Pokemon with the same PID like it's just one Pokemon. So if I had a box of ten. Farfetched, and they all have the same PID and exactly the same and I didn't do those rerolls when I go to import it there's only gonna be one there so that's that's another problem that can come up with that so that is the best and quickest and easiest way to clone currently with my little trick of rerolling for PIDs and encryption constant uh, you're gonna be on your way to having a lot of fun um, so thanks for watching guys and please check out the videos on how to use PK Hex if you don't know already and also check out my other guide videos if you like this video please give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe and leave a comment and tell me what you think and be awesome be cool and I'll try to too and then we can be friends until the end of time